So here's a question. Um, is there a certain time period you can think of, like you being a YouTuber in general, is there a certain time period you can think of where you look back and think that's your least favorite time period of being a YouTuber? Yeah, I can think of a time period that I hated pretty badly on in my YouTube career, at least for Acid Roots Music. And I would have to say for Acid Roots Music, it was 2018. And it's interesting because that was around the so same time that you were kind of going through with bullshit and that sort of stuff. 2019 through 2021, but I think yeah, your problem started 2018. So, yeah, back in 2018, I was really kind of running out of ideas for Acid Roots. The last video I did... I did like five videos in 2018, and the last one I did in 2018 was like a Marilyn Manson video reaction or song reaction or something, and I just said, you know, I was going to do more videos. I remember I had seen some stuff that was coming out, but I just got kind of tired of it just because I knew what was going to happen. And at that time period, back in March of 2018, I had like 90, 92, 93 subscribers. But the problem with it was, I was still only getting, you know, like 700 views a month. And I thought, the only thing that's really making a difference on my YouTube channel is just doing these video reactions, which I was getting tired of doing. I mean, I did them throughout 2017, but I was just getting tired of doing that. It wasn't that fun to me, and my none of my reviews that I had done at that point had gotten more than like 400 hits ever. And I said, you know, I've been here for three years now, and none of my videos can crack 400 hits minus the reactions. So I was just getting more and more fed up with it, and... I just said, fuck it, you know, I'm not going to have people subscribe and unsubscribe to me when I have like 98, 99 subscribers and have it take another three years just for me to get to 100 subs. And I was like, it's kind of disrespectful that that's kind of happening. Because I looked at it, because people knew. I mean, back in those days, I didn't hide my subscriber count. But, you know, just the concept of me getting like two subscribers a month and losing two, basically making no progress or just going up one, I was like, you know, it should not take me, you know, 15 months to get 10 subscribers or 20 months to get 10 subscribers or seven subscribers. It was just ridiculous about that. So I just said, fuck it. Just abandon the whole channel. And then the, th the funny thing about it was... I mean, that was kind of a, a climactic year for me, but the thing about it was is I almost didn't even come back to Acid Roots Music because I kind of forgot my email. So I came back to Acid Roots Music in January of 2019, but the thing about it was was that I, I really, luckily my old laptop still had my email on there because I had no clue what it was. I was guessing and guessing. I was like, hey, you know, this channel is almost effectively dead because I had no clue where my email was. I knew the password, but I didn't know what my email was and it wouldn't tell me. And it said, well, we'll send an email to your email. And it's like, well, I need to know what my fucking email is. <laughs> that's like the thing. So that channel almost died in 2018, but that's kind of the thing. Yeah, that, did, that does sound like a pretty awful time period for you and your YouTube channel, you know? It really does. I mean, because like you said, it was like to a point where the success and numbers were pretty lackluster and it just made you want to walk away from it, which I can't blame you for feeling that way. So it definitely does sound like a pretty lame era that you had to go through, uh, you know, and it's... It's kind of interesting that it happened around the same time that everything else went to shit. Because 2018, to be fair, also started because in 2018, that's when I had the two channel strikes. And there was just a lot of bullshit going on at the time. Uh, Kadeem lost his channel temporarily. Other people I know were getting their channels taken off. And then at the time, I got like two strikes on my channel. And I think on top of that, I think that's what probably took all the passion away. Because I was like, wow, it can be... My channel could be taken away just like that. But yeah, 